Yes, he did. He was trying to swap the puck. Garen fires. He scores! And at the very least, that'll make Hilbert feel a little bit better. Unfortunately, I think DiPietro's going to get the assist, though, and not Hilbert. One to nothing <laughs> Islanders, but the concern, of course, is for Hilbert, and here's why. Oof. Oh, baby. Right in the face, and down goes Hilbert. He gets himself up, though, but Di Pietro swatted the puck over to Sillinger, who just kind of golfs it over to uh, Billy Guerin, leads to this great play up the zone, and then Mark Denis, a goalie who's trying to make his own mark for this Tampa team, having played in the next to last game of that 93-94 regular season. Vaza check for Park Center, eight feet block, rebound goes in! Vazacek or a Tampa Bay skate. Vazacek was certainly closest to it and looked to get something on it. 2-0 New York. Uh, but you really got to go back to the play made by the Islanders D-man Chris Campoli to step up and put this play in transition for the Islanders. Vazacek then gets it low to, sh to uh, Park and then it's a whack at it by Shatan that might be, it could be his or it could be Vazacek's goal. Let's see right here. There's Shatan. It's Vazacek because it goes up the right skate of Paul Ranger, who's just trying to stop to get position. Up comes Comrie with Hunter. Comrie pulls up. He shoots. Save made. Rebound. Score. Fedotenko. Three to nothing, Islanders. And the former. Takes care of his ex-teammate. Watch the play of Mike Comrie right here. Gets deep in his own zone, boards the pass there, and goes on a two-on-one with Hunter. And because Richards come back, so he can't pass it over to Hunter. So what Comrie has to do is skate it a little bit more to the right side, open up a little seam, and almost gets it on the stick of Hunter. But then it's Ruslan Fedotenko puts it in, and our Panasonic digital replay shows the look from the left side as he gets to the bench. Extra skater on, drive by Sutton behind the knee. Hunter pokes it home. Trent Hunter, and it's four to nothing Islanders. Boy, did Trent Hunter need that. A smart play by Mike Comrie when he realized that it was a delayed penalty. He skates the puck into the zone. And he holds on to it. There's the penalty that's going to be called against Tampa. Now, eventually, Comrie's going to get it after the play gets cycled back. Right here, look how he shields his body from St. Louis. Shields it, shields it, and then gets it back to Andy Sutton. That allows for Hunter to come off the wall to the front of the net. Boyle can't get it after. He's going to get his 12th career. Shut out the Islanders. Convincingly beat the Lightning 4-0. Milestone night, 1,000th game, a success in all categories, except, of course, if you're John Tortorella. Still searching for answers to get his team a win. Lightning now are 0-6 to start the year on the road. That is a franchise worst for the Lightning organization. And Rick DiPietro gets his 12th career regular season shutout. He made some beautiful saves, a little help from the post. A lot of help from his team as well in front of his net tonight, Howie. I thought in the second period, the Islanders as a team defensively tightened up well and protected that front of the net well. And one last leap with Campoli, and then the salute. Important win tonight for the Islanders, especially the way that they came back and played against Carolina. They have four days off, you know, not to play since last Saturday, to come out. They had some good practices. They shook it off. As Rick DiPietro said, hopefully we do not need to deal with those kind of post games anymore this season, referring to that Carolina debacle. Well, a very good recovery, and not only a great job by the Islanders as a group, but in particular, Mike Sillinger. And passion worked its way down to the entire roster tonight. It's a good, solid game. And yeah, he's nice to see that the fans recognize the milestone, too. I'll tell you what as well. He's the type of guy. He's such a good guy. That I guarantee his teammates were saying, let's win it for him. Let's go out there and give him the kind of effort that he gives us every night. Uh, usually, a goaltender pitches a shutout. He's got a chance to be the number one star. I wonder if this one might be set up for Sillinger. I hope the fix is in. 
But Atenko is number three, and he had a goal against his former team. The second star, New York Islanders, number 18. Oh, so much for the fixed theater, huh? What a shutout's a shutout. Sillinger probably told him. And I know Mike Sillinger. He might have said, you know what? If you're thinking of making me the first star, give it to Ricky. He pitched the shutout. Yeah, you got to fill the top. <laughs> Rick I think we're giving it too much thought. That's but congratulations. Yes. Ricky absolutely earns the shutout. And uh, Deb Kaufman will not only chat with Rick DiPietro, but also Mike Sillinger. How's the emotion now that the 1,000th game is behind you and it's a win? Oh, it's great. You know, obviously, uh, that's uh, one way to top off uh, this uh, weight here for this 1,000th game is a big victory. You know, a goaltender here, a big shutout, and uh, played a great game for us, so. One of your line mates almost the whole time you've been here, Andy Hilbert, took a stick to the face, but then you set up Bill Guerin on that same play for the first goal. Yeah, Andy uh, has been working hard as of late, and, uh, you know, he's, he's going to score soon. But, uh, yeah, Billy had a great shot there. Uh, Guy jumped me at the line, and uh, Billy went in and uh, put it five hole. Big goal. You stay healthy, you could end up playing more game for the more games for the Islanders than any other of the organizations that you've played for. Funny sometimes how things work out. Yeah, it sure is. You know, obviously, uh, I really enjoy my time here in Long Island. It's a great place, and it's great to see uh, the building uh, filling up. You played for 21 head coaches, including Scotty Bowman. How about adding Al Arbor to that list when you play for him on Saturday? Yeah, it'll be obviously a great thrill. I met him this morning, and uh, him and his wife and. Obviously, uh, that's another great milestone on Saturday night. Right, congratulations for this. We're going to talk to your goaltender. You. 12 career shutouts now, Rick. How about the preparation this week? Ted Nolan had you guys scrimmaging quite a bit, and it seemed like it really got you ready for the game. Yeah, well, it was tough. We had a lot of days off, and uh, last time we came out in this building, we put a, put a stinker up for the fans. So we wanted to come back and rectify that situation, come out hard and, and play strong, and um, you know, I thought we did that. Martens and Louis, Vincent LaCavalier, they have so much talent on the Tampa Bay side. What were you guys able to do tonight to stop them? I think our D played great, blocked a lot of shots. Our forwards did a, did a good job of being smart. The blue lines, they back checked hard, and uh, you know, it makes for a good game. And suddenly you now you get to play another game in 48 hours. You don't have to wait another week. How about for you playing with Al Arbor on the bench Saturday? Well, it's going to be exciting. I mean, uh, you know, he's a, he's a legend. And so uh, we're going to do whatever we can to get up and, and play a great game. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll have all the, uh, all the support there again on Saturday night. Do you think he'll have a, have a couple of ideas how to stop Sidney Crosby? Um, you know, I hope so. I think everyone's still trying to figure out how to stop him. But uh, we play like we did tonight. Good, smart game. Uh, we'll be all set. All right. Thanks, Rick. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. He can barely get off the ice. <laughs> Well, when you consider that Al Arbor figured out a way to neutralize Mario Lemieux and Yarmer